How to keep safe at home. Brenda has lots of friends who visit her at home. Whenever a stranger comes to the house, she uses a spy hole to see who is coming to the door. She asks them for ID to make sure they are who they say they are. To make sure you are safe at home, you should do the following. Leave a light on when you go out. Don't leave any valuables around. Close the curtains at night time. Unlock the windows and doors. How to keep your home safe. Hmm. A strange man a has nice been wandering house. around the neighborhood. Well, what do we have here? He hides behind trees closer. with a pair of binoculars. James is worried the man might break into his house. That's a nice house. He makes sure wow. all his valuables are locked away in a safe Shepherd place. Drawers. He draws the curtains at night time and always leaves the light on when he goes out. James calls the police to make a complaint. The police arrive and take the intruder away. Come with me, you're going to jail for two months. To keep your home safe, you should do the following. Don't leave anything on the window sills. Keep your front doors locked. And put a chain on before opening the door. How to keep safe on public transport. Brenda is waiting at the train station. She's going to meet her boyfriend who lives in another town. In five minutes. At night time, the train station is very dark and unsafe. Tickets, please. Brenda Get keeps safe by standing please. in a brightly lit area. She always makes sure she knows the last train home in case of an emergency and always takes her mobile phone with her. Joseph always sits at the back of the bus on the way home from school. There are gangs of teenagers who also sit at the back of the bus and they bully you Joseph. Me help me, help me, anyone, please, help they steal me. his money, call him names, and try to Hand fight him. Over now, I will punch you in the face. I'm gonna get you. Money. To avoid when trouble, you get off Joseph bus, moves to a safer seat nearer the driver uh, at the front. Uh, he gets off the bus at the nearest stop and keeps the ticket to prove the route he was travelling. Susan is going home after a night out with her friends. She books a taxi and makes sure to ask the driver's name before he arrives. My name's Susan. Susan always asks the driver to make sure she's safely inside the house before he drives away. If you are using public transport, you should try to do the following things. Before you go out, plan where you are going, look at getting there and getting home. Keep your mobile phone in your pocket or a bag so that they do not get lost or stolen. Don't walk in quiet places and try to go out in a group. Don't get into a car with a stranger and keep your bag with you at all times. Tell somebody your plan. How to keep safe at the cash machine. Susan is going out for a meal with her friends. 
she walks to the nearest bank to withdraw money from the cash machine. Whilst withdrawing her money, two strangers approach her and begin bullying her. Oi, loser, give me your She makes pin sure number. to protect her pin How number, much money or only takes her to give money to watch me. I want to use the cash machine. If she tried to do the following things, make sure to protect your pin number. Don't give any bank details to strangers. Never give money to people you don't know. And only take out what you need. How to keep safe over the telephone. Michael has a mobile phone. His friends are always asking for his number. A stranger has managed to get hold of Michael's phone number and sends him abusive text messages. He calls him and hangs up without saying anything. He makes sure never to give out his mobile phone number to strangers and only keeps the phone numbers of his friends on his mobile phone. If you are using a telephone, you should try and do the following things. Do not give out your name and number when you answer the telephone. Do not say you are alone. If someone phones to sell you things, hang up. If a stranger becomes abusive on the phone, say nothing and hang up. If you keep receiving abusive calls, call the police. What to do if you are in trouble? If you are in trouble, do not panic. Do not stop Ow. and fight. And Ow. always tell somebody what is going on. Fire. Let people know you are in trouble Everybody, by screaming please. fire. Go to a public place as soon as you can and ask a police officer for help. If you are in trouble when you are out and about, seek help from a police officer or a shop assistant. Know who your local police officer is and local police website. Call 101 for non-emergencies. If anything happens or makes you feel uncomfortable or you see anything happening you think is wrong, tell someone you trust. This might be a family member, a friend, a carer, or member of staff.